Hey, ho, it's Sooty and Ho. Everybody say hello! There's Sooty and Sweep, a panda called Sue, and little cousin Scampy too. They'll be fun galore with the terrible fall. Just you wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company. Would you get your paws off, Sweet? This is my puff. Well, I sent for it, I paid for it, which means that I get to unwrap it. <coughs> what? What, Sue? Well, if you quite finish squabbling, we've got company. What? Where? Oh, oh, hello there. Hey, great excitement today because my parcel has finally arrived. I've been waiting absolutely ages for this. What is it? Well, you remember the old vacuum cleaner packed up? Mm -hmm. Yes? Well, this is the replacement vacuum cleaner. Ooh. It doesn't look like a vacuum cleaner. No, no sweep. It doesn't look like the old sort of vacuum cleaner, but this is a brand new state of the art vacuum cleaner. Listen, listen to this. Listen. Listen. A carpet cleaner for the 90s gets all the dust and grit out of your carpet and leaves it looking like new. Listen. Needs no batteries and no mains power. Hmm? Fantastic. Sounds like a winner. I'm sure it will be. Let's get it open, shall we? Come on. Yes. You know, they're fantastic, these catalogues, because they have all the latest inventions. Imagine having a carpet cleaner that requires no batteries and no mains power. What is this? <laughs> it's a carpet cleaner? What do you mean a cut? What? It requires no batteries and no mains power? That's right, Matthew. But... But this is a Swiss! Oh, Matthew, you've done it again. What? You've fallen for the advertising. <laughs> and now, if you'll excuse us, we're going to do what you're going to have to do to your carpet. What's that, Sue? Beat it! Be beat it? Oh, a carpet beater! Mmm, <laughs> 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 that was a lovely breakfast. <laughs> Ooh, so she's rubbing his tummy. What? Am I going to clean a few carpets now? <laughs> mm, very funny, very funny. You have to confess it is quite funny, Matthew. Is it? You're always falling for those silly gimmicky things. What do you mean always? What else have I bought that's silly? Come on, what else have I bought? Uh, what about that? Uh, uh, no, 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 sweet. G give that to me. This is, this is very important. This is, this is a, a nose hair trimmer. These come in very useful for, um, well, for trimming nose hair. That, what else have I bought that's silly anyway? You've got something. Well, I... Oh, no, 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 no. This is very, very necessary. This is for shaving the little woolen balls off of your jumper. What else yes, have I bought? Come on. this. What about this? Uh, no, 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 Sue. So that's a mini vacuum cleaner for my computer. Now, I couldn't manage without that. But you haven't got a computer, Matthew. <laughs> oh. Oh, let's face it. You're a sucker for advertising. Oh. You'll buy anything if it's advertised properly. <sighs> yes, I suppose you're right, Sue. So, uh, hang on a minute. That's given me an idea. Come on. Into the shop, everybody. Come on. Come on. Now, you see, my problem is that I'm very good at buying things, but I'm not very good at selling things. And it's the same problem with the shop. I mean, look, when was the last time we actually sold anything in here? Pass. Yeah, well, exactly. But it was you who gave me the idea, Sue, on how we're going to change all that. Advertising. We need to advertise. <laughs> yes, that's a great idea. Well, I think so. What do we have to do? Well, well, just think. What sort of advertising is there? Hmm? What's a... Come on, Sooty. What, what, what do you see a lot of? Television adverts. That's a good one. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. there are radio adverts as well, aren't there, Matthew? Yeah, that's good, Sue. Uh, come on, sweet. What other advertising do you, uh, do you see? <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. What is it, then? <laughs> Posters and banners. <laughs> well done. So, look, I want each one of you to work on the suggestion that you made. So, right. uh, Sue, you can make a radio advert. There's an mm -hmm. old tape recorder up in my bedroom, OK? And, Sooty, find little cousin Scampy, and you and him can make a television advert. OK? And sweep, go out in the backyard. You're in charge of the posters and the banners. But well, what are we advertising, Matthew? Well, the shop, Sue. Oh. Sooty and Co. We're going to turn this business on its head with the use of advertising. <laughs> so, Sweep got the job of making an advertising banner. <laughs> he's cut all the letters out and he's about to stick them on. <laughs> um, what's the banner going to say, Sweep? <laughs> Come to Sooty shopping. Eh? <laughs> Well, that sounds excellent. <laughs> Off you go, then. <laughs> and Sooty got the job of making a TV advert. That shouldn't be too difficult for him. Except he's got little cousin Scampy to help him. Here we go, one radio commercial coming up. 
When it can't be that hard to do, Terry Wogan does them all the time. <clears throat> Testing. One, two, three, four. Eat your heart out, Tarrant. I'm a cunning. I'm going to be in charge of the mail order side of the business. Now, how can I advertise this? Uh, forget the hiss of tapes. Forget the crackle of records. With this machine, we guarantee there will be no noise. That's mainly because it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sleep. What is it? You finished? Well, that was very quick. I hope you got it right, have you? Of course he has. All right, well, let's... What's he supposed to say? Come to such a shop. Let's see if he's got it right, shall we? Coy Tom Shoot Soap. Coy Tom Shoot Soap? Sweet, you stuck the letters on wrong way round. It's meant to say, come to such a shop, not Coy Tom Shoot Soap. Take them all off and start again. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr Wogan. I didn't mean to be rude. Oh, help! This tape's going everywhere. Oh, oh, dear. Never work with children, animals or tape recorders. With this remarkable guitar, we can guarantee that you will never, ever play a wrong note. Mind, you'll never play a right note, either. It's got no strings. <coughs> All right, sweep. What is it? You've redone it? Well, uh, have you got it right this time? Come to Sooty Shop. Right. Let's have a look and see if he's got it. Shy Tosco Moo Pet. <laughs> what do you mean, pardon? It says Shy Tosco Moo Pet. It's meant to say come to such a shop, sausage brain. <sighs> oh, oh, dear. Oh, no. Ah, what are you lot doing here? No, oh, I've had enough of this. Why don't you just push off? Now, are you sure you got it right this time, sweep? Hmm? <laughs> Positive. And what's it supposed to say? Come to such a shop. Right, let's have a look and see whether you've actually got it right. Cos tooty poo smash. Cos tooty poo smash. Sweep, I do not think this is particularly funny. Oh, hello there, you two. How's the, uh, how's the television advert coming along? It's nearly finished. Really, but that script what? You want me to help with the voiceover? The voiceover? Well, uh, what do I have to do? What? 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 I'm going to read this script. Right, well, uh, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Oh, well, whatever it's like, it can't be worse than Sweep's banner, can it? <coughs> OK, um, right, if you'd like to uh, press record then, Scampi. OK. Because <coughs> Tootie Boo smash twit. Uh, sorry, sorry, right, um, did you press record? We are, we are recording. OK, right. <coughs> there, done it. And now we're ready to record. So, quiet in the studio. This is a recording. Here goes. <coughs> Want a big, big bargain? Then why not wander down to Sooty & Co, your friendly local shop that sells everything? Want a washer? Then it's Sooty & Co. Want a fan? Then it's Sooty & Co. Require some rubbish? It's Sooty & Co, the rubbish centre of Greater Manchester. If it's rubbish you want, we've got it. Right, let's have a look at the fruits of our labour, shall we? How did the television advert turn out, Sooty? Very unusual. Well, that's good because unusual adverts catch people's eyes. What about the radio ad, Sue? Oh, no problem, Matthew. Few technical hitches to begin with, but I'm very proud of the results. Good. Mm. <laughs> Sweep says he's very proud, too. Mind you, I wouldn't be very proud if I made a banner reading Cos Tooty Poo Smash. All right, Sue, so let's hear the radio ad, but let's see whether that's going to bring people rushing into the shop. Oh, I think this ad will blow your mind, Matthew. Really? Stand by and cue tape. Go on. That's it. It's on beam. Turn it off. Turn it off. Well, you're right, it did blow our minds. That was playing backwards. Oh, oh for goodness sake. Let's watch the television advert. Press the zapper, so she's ready and go. Oh, Cost look at that. Poo smash. <laughs> Twit. Uh, so, sorry, have we, uh, have we started? Oh, right. Sooty and Co. You know it makes sense. Come and see the quality we offer. Step inside for prices at our rock bottom. Take your time. 
Look around. There's no hurry. Our friendly repair staff are there to help you. Oh, oh dear, oh, no. Ah, what are you lot doing here? No, oh, I've had enough of this. Why don't you just push off? Push off, push off, push off. What? What did I think? Well, Sooty, good is not the word to describe that television advert. Oh, dear, we're not very good at this, are we? No, we're not, Sue. Do you know something? I'm beginning to wonder if we'll ever see another customer in this shop ever again. Oh, a customer! A customer! Yes, and how can I assist you? Oh, well, we are posh today. It's only oh. me, you know, more fruit markets. Oh, hello, hello. Mo. Hello. Have you come to part with some money, have you? No, I've come to collect some, you see, because what? I paid your milk bill for you on Friday, Did... so that's £4.50 you owe me. £4.50? Four, £4. Hang on a minute, just... No, oh, no, sorry, Mo. Can't do it. Only three £5 notes. No change, oh, sorry. Oh, well, never mind the change. What? Now, what have you got that's interesting? Well, I don't... What? This is my chance to make a sale. You're right, Sooty. Mo, we have got something very, very interesting. Look at this. Now, brand new from the United States of America. What Look is at it? that. It's a nose hair trimmer. A nose hair trimmer? Oh, yes. Can't get enough of these. Can't get hold of them. If I could find the supplier for these little beauties, I would take everything he got. Really? Yep. In that case, your luck is in, because I've just got these for a market. Now, what? then, if we say two and a half quid each, that would be right, wouldn't it? Uh, it's I a business doing pleasure with you, Matthew. <laughs> Bye! Oh, dear. Look, forget about radio adverts, forget about TV adverts. The only way we're going to get people into this shop is to go out and tell them to come in here. Actually, that gives me an idea. The best bargains at bargain basement prices. For the very best prices, shop today at Sooty & Co. Sooty's not working, is it? You know something, I thought that when we got the microphone and all the speakers and everything, that we'd get lots of crowds around us. It doesn't seem to have quite worked out that way, does it? You know, I think we need something new, a gimmick, something new and exciting. What? You can do something new and exciting. What are you going to do that's new and exciting? You're kidding. What now? This is amazing. I must tell everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, please gather around because today you are going to see a first. Can you guess what Sooty's going to do for you? Hmm? Well, I tell you, Sooty will sing. All right, don't take the bow before you've done it. Are you really going to do it? You've never done this on the television before, have you? I mean, you've never done this on the stage. In fact, you've never done this anywhere, have you? What? You did it in the bath last Friday. That doesn't count. Are you really going to do it? Okay, I'll get silence. Shh, 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 shh. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Sooty will now sing. Take it away. What did you do that for? You're feeling shy? You can't afford to be shy. Look, the whole crowd is sitting there waiting. You'll do it. Okay, good. I'm sorry about this. Sorry, he will do it. Sooty will now sing. Take it away. What did you do that for? Would she stand up and walk around the corner? You can't ask our entire audience to go and stand around the corner. Look, I'm sorry about this. It's obvious that he's not going to sing. So if he won't sing, I will sing. Would you stand up, please? Somebody's got to do something. If you want to do it, I'll do it. I shall sing for you that old and favourite melody, My Way. <laughs> and now the time has come when... The... He's got the microphone. Very funny. Yes. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Could I have it back, please? He's taking the microphone. Could he? Give me the... Sorry, would you give me the microphone back? Would you... Would you... Would you... Would you... Don't... It's oh, very strong for a little... Back. Don't... 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 No, no, no. Don't... Don't do that. Would you let go? Look what you've done now. Look... If that microphone is broken, you are going to be in deep trouble. Pull it up. Come on. Every time I try and do something new or serious, it gets in the way of breaking. Just look at it. Testing one. Te testing. Testing one, two. It's broken. 
You've done this? I'm very disappointed. I had high hopes for today. I, I wanted things to go off with a real bang. You can fix that. He says he can fix... Oh, the magic wand. Well, I suppose with the magic wands, things still might go off with a bang. Go on, let's try it. Oh, no, not that sort of bang. <laughs> I can't believe this. Whilst we were out trying to attract more people into the shop, guess what Sue was doing? <laughs> Spending more money. You're right, Sweep. Sue, we've got enough stock in the shop. How on earth do you think we're going to get rid of all of these? Oh, word of mouth should do the trick, Matthew. Well, I admit they are very attractive, Sue, but you'll never get rid of this lot. In fact, if you can, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. This is our best day ever. Look, we've actually made some money. What? Sue deserves the money. <laughs> It was her idea. Yes, you're right, sweet. What do you say, Sue? Oh, stuff and nonsense, Matthew. I think we should share the money out. Well, that's easy enough to do. Five for you, five for you, Sooty, five for you, Sweep, and five for you, Sue. Thank you. Okay? What, Scampy? You don't know where to spend the money? <laughs> neither do you. No, neither do I. Well, I know exactly where you could spend the money. Come with me. Come on. Everything's a bargain. Everything is nice. Spend your money here, my friend. Bargains for twice the price. Oh. Okay, coming up, Sooty. I'm going to show you where you can spend your money. Here in this shop. I'm going to be the shopkeeper. You can be the customer. All right, listen. If you've got some money and you don't know what to buy, step this way. Just look around. We'll help you. All we'll try. We can show you this, we can show you that, and there's even some of these. Spend your money here, my friend. We are sure that you'll be pleased. Oh, everything's a bargain. Everything is nice. Spend your money here, my friend. Bargains for twice the price. Oh, everything's a bargain. A spender's paradise. Spend your money here, my friend. For bargain basement price. Oh. OK, well, I've sold something to Sue. Now it's your turn. Sue, you can try and sell to Sweet. Sweet, you're the customer. Sue, you're the shopkeeper. Ready? Now. Let me help you, sir. I think I know just what you need. Two of these and one of those and a packet of the sea. There's no time to thank me, sir, because I simply have to dash. I see someone else to serve and so just hand me the cash. Everything's a bargain. Everything is nice. Spend your money here, my friend. Bargains for twice the price. Oh, oh, oh. Well done, Sue. So to your turn, you sell to Scampy. Where is Scampy? Scamp? Oh, there you are. Before you do, we better say goodbye. Bye bye, everybody. See you again soon. Okay, so to your turn to sell to Scampy. Okay? Right. You're gonna sell him this. Everything's a bargain. Everything is nice. Spend your money here, my friend. Bargains for twice the price. Oh, everything's a bargain. A spender's paradise. Spend your money here.